as promised in the last video, in this video we're going to be photographing my Hollius DRD jumping spider. So let's get cracking on with this photo shoot. Now this spider is very small and very cute. It's probably the cutest spider you'll probably ever see. So here is a picture of my jumping spider and you can see it's a pale jumper. So typically with a pale jumper I like to use a darker background. Now we have some nice purple flowers. I think that's going to go quite well with this jumper. So we're going to use these flowers as the foreground, the background and we're going to place our jumper onto these flowers and photograph them. So let's set that up now. So I'm going to set one flower up in the middle of our macro setup. And again, this center column here will spin around so we're able to turn the jumper around. And it is going to be a bit of a tricky shot because our flowers are not that big. But I want to show you how you're able to use the same flowers as a background. So weapon of choice again for this shot is going to be the Canon EOS R. We have the Canon MPE 65mm lens and we have the Godox MF12 Twin Macro Flash with my Crafty Bells Custom Diffuser. This jumper is very small so I'm looking at shooting at around 3 times magnification. I'm currently at f6 on my f-stop, 1 200th of a second on the shutter and ISO 100. I'm going to put her on the flower, we're going to observe her, and if she freaks out, we won't be photographing her. We'll put her back in her, her enclosure, and uh, we'll just observe and see what she's like. So let's get her out now. I also need a name for this jumper, so if you want to help name this jumper, then comment below your suggestion for a name for this jumper. And she's already on me. And any sudden movements, and she's a bit, uh, a bit skittish. There we go. There she is. Now I'm just going to hold her for a minute just to get her to calm down. And I would say she's probably the same size as an adult zebra jumping spider from the UK. I would say estimate about four to five millimeters in size. And she's very, very pretty. She's a pretty little lady. I'm going to see if she'll go willingly onto the flower. Give her a bit of a nudge. There we go. She's on there. So while she's settling down, I'm going to keep an eye on her. I will tell you where I got her from. So I got this spider from the Cheeky Mantis. The enclosure, that is from Spoodernest.com. And this is an absolutely fantastic enclosure for jumping spiders. If you like keeping jumping spiders, then I would highly suggest you take a look at Spoodernest.com on her enclosures. Our jumper has settled down. I'm just going to push this flower down in the background just a little bit more. Let's see if we uh, can get a shot of this uh, gorgeous little jumping spider. In fact, I don't quite need um, three. We're going to go to two and a half on the magnification. That first shot was mostly to test if the flash is going to freak her out. And as we can see, she's not freaking out. She's quite happy. She's starting to look inquisitive. So I want to try and get my shot as soon as I can before she starts wandering around. I almost had you then. I almost had you then. She's obsessed with looking up for some reason. I think she's looking at the light. They do get distracted by the uh, the light, the flash. Yeah, yep, on. she's gone. And she's on the camera. Okay. So it lasted quite a while before she jumped on there. Normally, if Regal jump is by, it'd be already on the lens way long before that. So let's get her off there. Okay, she's off. And we're going to put it back onto the flower. But I don't want it on my hand because I want to just review the images. And what I'm looking at is, do I like the colour theme? Forget composition, all I'm looking at is colour. And that shot there, I think, is a wonderful shot. I like that. All I'm doing now, I'm just clinging up her bungee cords because the more she moves around, the more bungee cords she's going to put down onto the plant. And if we can move them off before taking the photo, it's less Photoshop work. Well, that's okay. So, I mean, she's not moving around, so I'm able to get the shot, but the shot just doesn't look right. It looks like I can't see her mouth parts and stuff like that. So we're going to wait. 
for her to move around again. Gorgeous little lady. And what I'm doing is I'm centering up the center of the flower in the background, which is darker around her head so that there's a dark patch behind her. Again, she's a pale jumper, so we want a pretty much dark patch behind her. I don't like shots where the spider's abdomen is higher than their head as well. So she's kind of looking down at the moment and we don't want that. I'm going to see if I can get her away from the edge. Oh, she wanted to come on my hand instead. She wants a cuddle. Okay, that's a perfect position if she'll keep still. Of course, she hasn't kept still. <laughs> they never do, do they? Mm. Well, considering she's a new jumper, she's very, very calm on this flower. She was going to jump then. Quickly move my camera out of the way. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to get a more wider field of view if I can. Not too much that we don't get the background in, of course. Let's so have a nice little picture. There we go, gorgeous shot of my new eyelash jumper. Here are the shots from this macro photo shoot. All of these shots have been edited using my Lightroom macro presets and have been cleaned up in Photoshop. So that's it, what did you think of these shots? Did you like them, did you not like them? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have any names, suggestions for this spider, let me know and we shall name it in the coming weeks. But uh, this jumping spider will grow to a fair size. Um, so it's going to be interesting to watch it grow. But that's where I shall leave this video. My name's Stuart Wood. I want to thank you for getting to the end of this video. And we'll see you on the next one. But I want to show you the... Um, I want to show you... The... All of these shots have been edited using my macro presets. Pre-shot. This is my new eyelash jumping spider, Helios Diardi. I'll probably cut that out. So we're going to get this jumper out now. We're going to place her on the flower. And what I'm going to do is just observe what she does. If she freaks out, we won't be jumping at If she calms down, then we won't be jumping at <laughs> And also, she also needs a name. So if you want to name this jumping spider, then comment below the video.